Sixty-three. Act without doing. Work without effort. Think of the small as large, and the few as many. Confront the difficult while it is still easy. Accomplish the great task by a series of small acts. The master never reaches for the great. Thus, she achieves greatness. When she runs into a difficulty, she stops, and gives herself to it. She doesn't cling to her own comfort. Thus, problems are no problem for her. Sixteen. Empty your mind of all thoughts. Let your heart be at peace. Watch the turmoil of beings, but contemplate their return. Each separate being in the universe returns to the common source. Returning to the source is serenity. If you don't realize the source, you stumble in confusion and sorrow. When you realize where you come from, you naturally become tolerant, disinterested, amused, kind-hearted as a grandmother, dignified as a king. Immersed in the wonder of the Tao, you can deal with whatever life brings you. And when death comes, you are ready. Twenty-seven. A good traveler has no fixed plans, and is not intent upon arriving. A good artist lets his intuition lead him wherever it wants. A good scientist has freed himself of concepts. And keeps his mind open to what is. Thus, the master is available to all people, and doesn't reject anyone. He is ready to use all situations, and doesn't waste anything. This is called. Embodying the light. What is a good man, but a bad man's teacher? What is a bad man, but a good man's job? If you don't understand this, you will get lost, however intelligent you are. It is the great secret. Fourteen. Look, and it can't be seen. Listen, and it can't be heard. Reach, and it can't be grasped. Above, it isn't bright. Below. It isn't dark, seamless, unnameable. It returns to the realm of nothing, form that includes all forms, image without an image, subtle, beyond all conception. Approach it. And there is no beginning. Follow it, 
and there is no end. You can't know it, but you can be it at ease in your own life. Just realize where you come from. This is the essence of wisdom. Art Statement Worship the unnameable and unexpected art, the yin, yet embrace and be indiscriminate towards all art, the yang. Observe the world and one's outer surroundings, yet trust one's inner vision and intuition. As such, I use a blindfold to create art through the inner spirit, yin, which in turn can be absorbed through the eyes, yang. By using art as holistic medicine, we can all benefit from the mystery of art, balancing ourselves physically, mentally and spiritually. My art is a remedy promoting a harmonious way of life. Furthermore, it is a prescription for a new wave of art.